You're watching K34QB, Vail, Colorado. Welcome to this Friday's edition of Good Morning Vale. I'm your in-studio host, Gretchen Fleshaw. We have Kimberly Perot with us as well. And I am stoked because Easter is right around the corner and we are gonna get in the kitchen and make a little Easter treat for you. It's really fun. As well as the glitz and glam with Gretchen, we are going to shine intuitive beauty. So sit back, have that cup of coffee because Good Morning Vale starts right now. Welcome to the TV8 Weather Center. Happy Friday. Let's take a look at that weather outside today. I'm loving that sunshine. 8 a.m. 31 degrees, a high of 51 degrees, just what I like to see. And winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So very springy like temperatures. 8 a.m. 31 and partly cloudy noon, then getting a little bit warmer and sunny with 43. 4 p.m. 45 degrees, mostly sunny. 8 p.m. 36 and a little bit of cloud coverage. So beautiful day to get on out there and do a little hiking, spring skiing, snowboarding. Eagle, let's take a look at that I-70 corridor. Eagle 55 degrees, Vail 51, Avon 53, and then Denver 64 degrees. So definitely feeling like spring. Tonight a low of 24, snow 20% chance, wind south to southeast 5 to 10 miles per hour. Let's take a look at that five-day forecast. Now I have to say sunshine, snow, we really never know in these mountain towns because Saturday we're going to be 51 degrees, beautiful spring day with a low of 24. And then as you see Sunday, 70% chance of precipitation, snow showers, 41 degrees, Monday, 36 degrees, overcast skies and a little flurries, as I like to say, snow showers, Tuesday, 37, a low of 19. And then Wednesday, morning snow and 42 degrees. So get a little bit of everything. Beaver Creek snow report, one inch in the last 48 243 for the season total and 60 inches for the base depth. And just to let you know, the lift hours for Beaver Creek are a little different than in Vail, 8.30 to 4 p.m. So 25 of those lifts open, 166 trails open, which makes 100% of the train open. Not too shabby for spring skiing. Now for Vail Mountain Snow Report, we have two inches in the last 48, 248 for the season total, 61 inches for the base depth. Now the lift hours are 8.30 to 3.30 in Vail. And yeah, we're excited about all of this stuff, all this snow going on in Beaver Creek and Vail. And I'm just, I'm excited about spring. I'm trying to wear color instead of my black. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I went with the green, which yes. matches our green screen today. So oh, yeah. kind of good thing I didn't do the weather. <laughs> I know, you know, because I've had that happen. I had a blue and green dress on and I was a floating head. It was it's not true. the best moment. <laughs> well, you know what I loved? You posted yesterday, the spring of deception. That is exactly oh, where we gosh. are when it's, we look at the weather, for sure. It is so true because one day you wake up and it's sunny and beautiful. And then you're like, wait, where are we spring? Are we winter? Where are we? What's happening? Well, next week, Father Winter is back, that's for sure. <laughs> I know. Well, and it's so funny because you're right. We have all these beautiful colors on and we're feeling Eastery. We get to get in the kitchen, do some Easter things. And then the snow dumps on us. And I'm like, what? I'm wearing a wrap dress. What is happening? <laughs> I know. I'm holding on to my sweaters as long as possible. Yes. And then I'll be ready for t-shirts. And we're both boot girls, too. <laughs> so I'm true. like, I know that we love to wear it. But you can wear boots around year season, round yeah. i totally agree but you know i love it in this first hour we've got the stockton group a gorgeous yeah. property we're making these fun easter things so in excited. the kitchen in a second here so lots <laughs> happening in this first hour so we're gonna go ahead and get started what do you say i'm ready Let's drink that it. coffee <laughs> go grab your coffee and we'll be right back Join us on board the Leadville Railroad Winter Express. Stay cozy in our heated lounge cars. Marvel at the stunning winter landscape. 
sip delicious hot chocolate. Don't forget to check out our new specials. Book today at LeadvilleRailroad.com. Hi, I'm Gretchen Plesha, host of Good Morning Vale. Now we're doing something really cool for Easter. Starting Monday the 18th, every single day, you're gonna get a new word. So if you watch every day and unscramble the words to make a sentence, you can win what's in this egg. Make sure and tune in every day. Good Morning Vale. For TV8 in Vail, I'm Avisha Scarborough at the Gerald R. Ford Amphitheater. We'll see you next time. Hi friends, welcome to a little behind the scenes. I'm Avisha Scarborough, and I'm so excited to be part of the team at TV8 in Vail. I love the outdoor lifestyle here, I love the arts and culture, and I love being part of this community. My show is called Vail Vibes with Avisha, where I tell you about all the amazing activities going on here in Vail and surrounding areas all year round. Here in the Valley, we are world renowned for so many things, including our gorgeous real estate and views here. Julio headed over to the Stockton Group to check out one of their latest listings. Let's take a look. It's a beautiful day in Vail, and we are at the prestigious landmark residence, residences here in Lion's Head Village with Patrick Barrett from the Stockton Compass Real Estate Group. Patrick, thanks for joining us on property today. How are you doing today? Sure. I'm doing great. Thank you. Nice sunny day. It's a beautiful day. We are at this uh, really nice property here in the heart of Lion's Head Village, quite literally just steps from the mountain, from the slopes. Tell me a little bit about some of the key features of this property and some of the things that you like about it. Sure. Um, I, first of all, location. Like you said, we're right in the center of Lion's Head Village. We're about a 30 second walk to the gondola, to the chair eight. Um, and very easy access to all the shopping, dining, everything that there is to do in Lion's Head. So location really couldn't be better. And this unit being on the seventh floor, we have big, big views to Vail Mountain, all the way from Golden Peak to Lion's Head and beyond. Um, you get a little bit of the Gore Range if you hang out over the balcony a little bit. Um, so big views, great natural light, awesome location, great building. Now, Pat, we're, we're sitting here at 702 in the landmark in Lion's Head, and it all looks like so seamless, but I know there's a lot of work done behind the scenes. How do you prepare a property to be listed for sale? Tell me about that. Um, it kind of all starts with cleaning and decluttering. Yeah. So it's a different animal if you're dealing with resort condos, typically our second homes. Um, frequently are in the rental pool as this one is. They're kind of ready to go. So what we really do is really just kind of declutter, get stuff off of countertops, frequently bring in fresh flowers for our photo shoot or just for showings and stuff like that. Um, really accentuate all the positives that we can, but 
get it photo ready, um, and really just learn about the property. You know, I think it, something that I really like to do is is imagine that I was the buyer for the property. So like what questions would I have? What would I want to understand? Mm -hmm. With a resort condo like this, it's all about access to the mountain. So like, do I have a ski locker? Where is it located? Where do I park? All of that kind of stuff. And then just the usability of the condo. Like how does, you know, what is the heat? Is it in-floor radiant heat? Does it have air conditioning? More and more important every year, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, I like to really understand all of that because I'm here when, when I'm showing the property and I'm dealing with the clients directly and being able to answer people's questions and help them get excited about the place is really important to me. All right, Pat, you obviously mentioned uh, some of the, that preparation work that goes behind getting a, a home ready to be listed for sale. Tell me maybe a little bit some of those uh, important aspects of listing a home for sale. What are, what are some of those important things that you keep in mind? Yeah, for sure. Um, when I'm getting ready to list a property, everything starts with photography. We are in a very beautiful natural mountain environment. It lends itself very well to aerial drone photography. So like you shoot the property inside and out, of course, but we also with pretty much every listing, we're getting aerial drone photography so that people can really understand before they arrive, where is this place? Yeah. Is it East Vale, is it West Vale, is it right in Lion's Head? How close am I to the mountain? What kind of views do I have? You really can, I mean, it's incredible actually the way that people when they show up to properties these days because of the photo assets that we have, the aerial drones, typically a virtual tour, like a Matterport type of a tour. They know that property inside and out before they even walk in the door. And I think that's great because by the time they're here to actually see it, they know it. They know that they want to see it. They're excited to see it. They are sometimes touring me around the house. Like, I know that around this corner, there's a bunk bedroom or whatever. Yeah. I think that's amazing. So yeah. um, it all starts with photography. We have dedicated websites for every listing that I have. Um, and, and the reason that people are there is to see those amazing photos and the big views to Bell Mountain, sunsets, gore range, whatever it is. But it's all photography is is the biggest thing. And speaking of that website, Patrick, and everyone watching at home, you all can visit www.landmark702.com. That's the specific listing for this property. And you can check out all those features that Patrick mentioned. Patrick, I want to get a little bit into speaking about some of those things that set you apart as a real estate agent here in the Ville Valley, and maybe some of those things that you think set you apart from other agents here in our in our community sure um first and foremost i think just being a professional and to me that means this is my full-time job this yeah. is what i do for a living this is where i go every day to work um and i really care about it you know i want people to be happy i love where i live i like helping other people understand this place and kind of find their own place within it yeah. so being full-time knowing the market knowing what's happening, knowing what that means for my clients and for you know future clients, because it's important. And even for a small town like Vail and Beaver Creek, Eagle County, there's a lot happening here. We have a ton of events going on. You know, the mountain is making changes. The town is making changes, right. rental restrictions, stuff like that. Just knowing what's happening, being able to address questions that people have, understanding what people are really looking for and helping them plug into the property that's right for them. I think that's what, to me, is professionalism, and that's what I try to be every day. And, and speaking of the market, Patrick, I want to talk a little bit about um, how has the market changed within this last year, mm -hmm. and maybe what are some of the things that you all are, are coming up in the next few months, or kind of what do you guys are anticipating for, for the summer season or the next few months? For sure. Um, what everybody's talking about this year, what I've said many times, is we're still very much normalizing. After 21 and 22, 2021, 2022, mm -hmm. extraordinarily busy around here, as it was a lot of places in the country where people were kind of leaving the major metros and flocking to smaller areas where they could spend more time outside, all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, that is still happening it has calmed down. So the, the word is kind of normalizing this year, and I think we're still seeing a lot of that, where properties are spending a little bit more time on market, where at the height of the um, 
kind of surge of activity here, we were like three to six weeks on market. We're really more like three to six months on market now, okay. and that's normal for us. That's yeah. what it always was. I've been doing this since 2011. Yeah. That is very normal for us. We have seasonality to this market. And if you imagine like for a specific type of a property, you know, it has three bedrooms or it is a penthouse or it has views or it doesn't have views, whatever. Someone is really looking for something kind of specific. The more specific the property, the more specific the buyer. Right. So we are not in a place where that is a primary home market. So if you're seeking a very specific buyer and the right person is really just going to love this place, but maybe it doesn't work for some others, the seasonality of this is you just have to kind of wait for that person to come around. So right. three to six months on market, different than major metro areas, is really normal for us here, and we're still seeing that today. I'm still seeing that today. Um, in terms of what's coming, I think that that trend is really going to continue. You know, okay. I think people are, sellers are being patient. We still very much have a, a scarcity issue in this county which is there's just not a lot for sale. I think today we have definitely less than 400 and barely over 300 homes for sale, wow. period, in Eagle County, yeah. in and out of the resort. So there's just not a lot of people selling. And what that does is it, you know, it keeps pricing strong. It, it supports values. Yeah. If you bought something five years ago, you should be up on that property today. Um, and that's generally good. I mean, that's a healthy real estate market. People are, sellers are taking their time and they're being patient and they're getting the number that they want. Yeah. Um, and I think that's going to continue into the summertime. Winding up the ski season right now, I think we'll have, we typically have, you know, May and, and the beginning of June is a little bit quiet around here, which is fine. Everybody takes a break and goes right. to the beach and stuff. Yeah. Um, all good and healthy for everybody. And then, you know, by the middle of June, it's beautiful around here and yeah. people are starting to come back and like in the time that I've been here now almost 20 years summer is just so different so than different. it was it yeah. used to be just you know you could shoot a cannon down bridge street and <laughs> and it was fine but now today uh for the better I think it's just there's a lot more happening here there's yeah. there's weekend activities there's festivals there's concerts all kinds of stuff happening and I think a lot of people especially from more warm weather climates Texas, Florida type of places yeah. have discovered that they can come to Colorado and experience zero humidity and very few bugs and all that kind of stuff, which yeah. is not normal for them. So we have a lot more people every year that, that own homes in what are typically considered a ski resort area, mm -hmm. and they don't even ski at all. Yeah. They just come for the summertime. They may or may not rent it in the wintertime, but um, summer is more of a thing here every year and it's, yeah. you know, I love it. It's, it's my favorite time of the year and I love to ski. Um, but I think we'll have a very busy summer this year. There's some cool stuff going on. We have a new development in Avon called the Kestrel. Awesome. That's a grouping of 24 privately owned townhomes, uh, brand new product. They'll be finishing just, you know, at the end of this year, probably late fall. Mm -hmm. Um, beautiful spot where we're priced from three and a half to four and a half million. Brand new construction, three and four bedrooms, private garages, private elevators in every unit. So fun stuff coming for the summer. Yeah. Fun stuff coming for the summer. We're definitely looking forward to it. It is also my favorite season of the year, and it's just right around the corner. Patrick, it's been a pleasure speaking with you today. Thanks for joining us here, showing us a little bit about this property we are in here today, but also just kind of sharing your real estate insight with us. I really appreciate your time. My pleasure. Thank you. We are going to take a short break for everyone back at home. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more of the show. Good morning, Vail. Hi, it's Master TV at Vail. We want to invite you all to the Wacky Winter Reading Program. It's open to all ages. All you have to do is read 10 books or a thousand pages. For more information, go on our website, tv8vail.com. And thank you to our sponsor, the Eagle Valley Library District. Hello, I'm Shervin Rezai here with Chenna Garden in Avon, Colorado. My hobbies are obviously skiing. I've been skiing since I was three years old. In addition to that, music's always been my first passion, and you can see that alive and well at Chenna Garden with our little record nook, 
where we have over 300 records and we'll continue to grow that collection and play vinyl records for you while you enjoy your cuisine. Chenna Garden is Avon's oldest running restaurant. We've been open since 1988 when my mother set up shop and wanted to begin offering Avon Colorado the best quality Chinese food that we could get. And I started working in the restaurant when I was eight years old as a dishwasher making a dollar a day. <laughs> and then uh, one of the servers pushed by my dad told me I should ask for a raise and then I got five dollars a day but then I had to put all twenty-five dollars at the end of the week into a savings account which actually helped me out in college. So after college I went out to New York for law school and I spent 15 out years out in New York City practicing law and working in-house which you know exposed me to a lot of restaurants all over the world all over the country and after getting exposure like that, I realized that we have this beautiful restaurant here that has so much potential. So in the fall of 2023, we came back, remodeled, and tried to get this back to give that special feel that I've known all my life here. We've been uh, offering a lot of new cuisines, including German cuisine with a good family friend, Gunther Schmidt, who's been serving up authentic German cuisine in the Valley for many, many decades. Why not? This is America. We can serve German food in a Chinese restaurant and we just let it try and after a year of it it's been building up some success and we're just having a lot of fun just seeing the look of bewilderment on every customer when they're like how am i getting german food in a chinese restaurant that's this good at this quality china garden is really all about that community and that first starts with the local community we always try to take care of all of us who are working hard grinding it so that we can also enjoy what this valley has to offer and through that we get a nice mix of word of mouth tourists who come in, we're looking for something a little more authentic and that has a history with the Valley. I'm a proud member of the Avon Vail Valley community, lifelong member as I was born here, and I hope you come out and see us here at Chenna Garden. We're open every day, four to nine, any day the mountain's open. Cheers. We're in the kitchen, Gretchen. We are in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> this is going to be a less messy version of earlier in the week, but it's really fun because Easter's around the corner. And I love crafts. I love crafting. I love a good craft. And I feel like this is something I can get down on. You know, you're the chef, the cook. <laughs> I am a, I'm a crafty person. I like this. I love it too. You know, we're going to be hippity hopping into the weekend because we are making bunny table centerpieces out Yay. of paper bags. So, I'm so easy, excited. right? So excited. So easy. So what we're going to do, we just need some simple, uh, simple ingredients. Really. Should we show the finished product first or wait? I think we should just okay, surprise we'll them. Okay. We'll just surprise them. So <laughs> we've got cotton balls, we've got ribbon. So we've got two different kinds yes. of ribbon, markers, paper bags, glue, and scissors. And that's it. You don't even need construction paper, but we have it because you can just draw on it if you want to. Cool. Yeah. I love it. So we've got, we're basically just going to cut our bags into like a bunny shape. So I actually like to kind of just gently fold it to make it even just like that. And then we're gonna cut uh, ears out of our bunnies. So that's gonna be the easy part. The, Cause the body is going to be at the bottom half and the top half will be your bunny ears. So I'd say about like halfway through. Okay. Or like you just kind of mark that the top half is gonna be your bunny ears. Got it. And we're just cutting it just like that. <laughs> Why it. am I nervous? You can't mess up. You it's really just can. creative and fun. It is. And it, this is like a really fun project to do with your kids or just if you want to be cute, you can stuff it with candy, which we have I some jelly bellies it. here. And can I tell you, this is what I looked forward to every Easter. <laughs> I am a big jelly belly. I love up. jelly bellies too. Yes. So that was my candy preference. Yes, choice. me so as well. Basically what you're going to see, it's going to look like this, right? When we're done. But we're going to draw on it so you don't want to puff it up too much, but that's okay if that's what it looks like because then we're going to tie a ribbon around it. So I'm going to... I love it. Go ahead and do this. Fold okay. it back. You can grab some scissors or markers. And we have a couple of options. We can start with the pink bunny ears. Oh, I love it. Okay. Or we Which can, ears would you like? Uh, whatever pair you want to give me. Okay. <laughs> there you go, Kim. Awesome. And if you're wondering, like, kind of how Gretchen got to that ear side of things, we basically just took a piece of pink paper. And just like that, everything is so easy. Oh, here we go. Yep. You can fold it. You can cut it. She did just like that. So just take your paper and then cut out a couple of ears. It's super simple, just like yeah. that, right? But anyways, she already did some for us, so we're super excited. We're going to go ahead and glue stick them on to our bunny. 
So cute. I know. So and fun. I like that you can have a white bunny, you can have a brown bunny, you it's can have true. a multicolor bunny. It's really like whatever, um, whatever's available in the grocery store. Whatever your vibe is that day. Whatever your vibe is <laughs> or whatever's in stock. Yeah, exactly. I know, right? <laughs> true story. So we're definitely just glue sticking on to our bunny. Oh, I love this. How cute, right? Oh, this is so easy too, how fun. It's so easy. And then we're just gonna take a Sharpie. I'm gonna cut a little button nose because why not? I like to add a little extra dimension <laughs> to, my, uh, to my bunny. Cute. Awesome, and then if you wanna grab some markers and just draw a face onto your okay. bunny, do you want a button nose too? You know, I'll draw. Okay, I'll draw. we'll show the option. And you know what I like about it is like you can do, um, I like to do like heart-shaped noses. Oh, well, that's a cute idea, okay. Thanks, Kim. You're welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> You know, and I'm making sure I have this like, let me so, think, the face is going to be here. So around, you kind of want to go right in the middle here? Yeah, right smack in the middle. Okay, cool. Because we're going to use a ribbon uh, to tie our ears together and to close off our bag, which is great. Well, I don't know how good this heart shape looks, so I'm going to, I'm just going to round it out. But here we are. While we're doing this, Kim, what is one of your favorite um, Easter traditions? Oh, geez. You know, I grew up in Virginia. Yes. And I grew up in a family of chefs. So we always do a big Southern Easter dinner. And oh, usually I love it's that. like fried, a fried chicken that's been oh, marinated in yes. buttermilk overnight and, you know, scalloped potatoes or twice baked, depending on the mood oh, that you're. My mom would oh, always do twice baked. Delicious potato salad. <laughs> oh, what else do we do? Usually like asparagus or some sort Yum. of green vegetable. And then um, what about we, an egg hunt? Uh, we did an egg hunt until everybody was too old for it. <laughs> My mother still makes me do an egg hunt and jump around. It's a true story. I, but now yeah. the eggs sometimes have dollar bills in them, which, so, I love. which is great. I still get um, a chocolate bunny every year, yes. which is great if I'm if I'm with my family. But I love that. It really just depends. So drawing a cute little face here, looking great. Cute. I love bunnies. I grew up with uh, I'm like, two pet that? bunnies, so this is oh, always a fun one. This is what my were favorite. their names? Um, one was named Clover because we actually Clover. found him in a clover patch. Uh, he was my neighbor's bunny, and they didn't want him anymore, so they let me keep him. That's and, a really uh, cute. And then the other one Clover. was named Ginger. Clover and Ginger. Because Ginger had the same color hair as me. I love that. Which I loved. So, Drew my bunny. <gasps> Those I love eyes it. are freaking me out. Super cute. <laughs> and then we've got uh, two different colored ribbons. So we've got green and then we've got polka dot. But the best part, before we tie off our bunnies, we need cute. to stuff them. So we can do one with jelly bellies <laughs> if you want to do one with jelly bellies. Oh, I would love to. And Thank then you. also the other piece that we didn't miss is cotton balls. So, you know, here comes Peter Cotton Tail. And you could even do a cute little cotton ball. Yeah, exactly. I love it. Hopping down the bunny trail. So there's a cotton ball for Okay, you. my bunny looks <laughs> like he's uh, rolling his eyes or her eyes at me. <laughs> I don't know. You know Too early for the, this bunny. <laughs> Look at that. Totally okay. <laughs> and then the last piece we need is to cut some ribbon. So we need okay. to have a couple of ribbon lanes. So I'm going to put cotton balls inside of my bunny, but you can do candy. This can be a great table center piece for your kids. So cute. You can put it like around some flowers or you can just fill it with candy and it's a great way to uh, add to your Easter Easter basket if you want to. I'll just put them in. That works too. <laughs> awesome. I'm going to glue. Um, we've got regular glue for for our cotton tail. Well, I just can't. There this we go. is so funny. We're just going to glue Look, it on. My bunny's mocking me. <laughs> Your bunny's like, Gretchen, what are you doing? It's too early, I know. <laughs> awesome. So I'm going to stick this on to the back here. So we've got a cute little tail. So you cute. Can't really see. There you go. And then we're just going to take our ribbon. Tie it around the top. Tie it around the top. And you could get glitter and get really fancy with this, which really I love. Can. Yeah. But this is a quick and easy. The options are endless. Quick and easy Easter centerpiece. But I'm going to tie this off. Make sure it's not too uh, covering his eyes. Just a little bow. Just like that. And we're going to fluff out his ears. Oh, no. I think mine's <laughs> a little too short. This is the hardest part, I think. <laughs> oh, nope. That's not going to work. <laughs> we'll just tie it really quickly. Do you want, Sorry, bunny. want another <laughs> ribbon? <laughs> um, yes, please. There you go. Got Thank it. Thank you. All right. And you can see, obviously, we should. I should have drawn his face a little bit lower, but my bunny's done. Super cute. <laughs> I love it. Our Peter. bunnies have character. They do. But <laughs> just a fun, quick, and easy Easter, Easter um, table centerpiece or gift bag, whatever you want to do, especially if you've got, like, 
you know, teachers that you want to say thanks for everything you do. You can bring this together with your kids and just give them out. You get the idea. It's so easy. I but love it. Happy Easter to everybody that is going to <laughs> celebrate and enjoy it next week. I love this. What a cute idea. Thank you so much. This was fun. It was a lot of fun. It brought back like it's giving second grade vibes. It, I love it. it really is. But we've got a lot happening in the rest of the show. So uh, stay tuned, grab your coffee, and we'll be right back after this. Did you know that all Eagle County residents and visitors can get a free Eagle Valley Library District card? All you need is a photo ID. You get our online databases and resources, free music, free streaming, all from wherever you have internet access. Free audiobooks and e-audiobooks straight to your phone. Go into your Eagle Valley Library District branch today and get your library card. TV8 te brinda la mejor programación en español todos los días. Sintoniza Conexión Latina los lunes, miércoles y viernes a las 7 de la tarde con repeticiones los fines de semana. Además, te presentamos nuestro nuevo programa Sabores y Creaciones, donde hemos juntado tus recetas y manualidades favoritas en un solo lugar los martes y jueves a las 7 de la tarde. Y por último, disfruta de Daily Flash Latino con noticias y entretenimiento en tendencia los sábados a las 7 de la tarde. Te esperamos por el canal 92 de Comcast, nuestra página de Facebook TV8 Conexión Latina, nuestro canal de YouTube TV8 Bell Good Morning Bell o nuestra página web tv8bell.com. Well, Archer and I are going to get headed on further down the trail, but I hope you'll catch up with us a little bit later. Hi, I'm Ben Roof and I'm one of the new hosts here at TV8. I'm so excited to share all of my explorations throughout the Vale Valley with my dog Archer, where we'll be taking you to hiking trails, biking trails, maybe we'll go rafting, fishing, or whatever else we can come up with. I'm so excited to share all of that with you in my new segment, Outdoor Adventures. Don't forget to catch up with us every day right here at TV8 Vale or at TV8Vale.com because there's always more for you on 92. Do you have an interesting hobby or skill you'd like to share for Vale Valley? We want to hear from you. We're looking for people to share their musical, artistic, culinary, woodworking, athletic, or technical talents on Good Morning Vale. If you'd like to share your talents with the community, email danielle at tvavale.com. Join the community conversation. There's more for you on 92. Join us on board the Leadville Railroad Winter Express. Stay cozy in our heated lounge cars. Marvel at the stunning winter landscape. Sip delicious hot chocolate. Don't forget to check out our new specials. Book today at LeadvilleRailroad.com. Welcome to the TV8 Weather Center. Happy Friday. Let's take a look at that weather out there today. 8 a.m. 31 degrees, a high of 51 degrees. Mostly sunny winds west um, 5 to 10 miles per hour. So beautiful day out there. 8 a.m. 31 degrees and partly cloudy. Noon 43 with sunshine. 4 p.m. 45 and mostly sunny. And then 8 p.m. 36 with a little bit of that cloud coverage coming back in. So gorgeous day out there. Let's take a look at the I-70 corridor. Eagle 55, Avon 53, Vail 51 degrees, and then Denver a whopping 64 degrees. So springtime at its finest here in these mountains. I'm loving it. Tonight, a low of 24 degrees, snow 20% chance, partly cloudy with winds south to southeast at five to 10 miles per hour. So beautiful night ahead. Let's take a look at that five day forecast. Saturday mostly cloudy 51 and then we see a little bit of the snow, the precipitation heading in Sunday. Snow showers 41 degrees. Monday overcast skies and snow 36. But look at those lows 2015 and then Tuesday 37 afternoon snow low of 19. Wednesday 42 
with a low of um, 22 degrees. So sunshine, snow, it's everything you want in a veil. We never know in these mountain towns. We do know that Shine Intuitive Beauty is an amazing place to get all of your aesthetic needs, the glitz and glam. With Gretchen, we head on over to Shine. Let's take a look. Welcome to the Glitz and Glam with Gretchen. I'm your host, Gretchen Fleshaw. We're here in Edwards, Colorado at Shine Intuitive Beauty. I am here today with Michelle at the beautiful Shine Intuitive Beauty in the heart of Edwards, Colorado. I am so excited. I come here a lot and I love the products. I love the people. The energy feels so good here. How are you doing, Michelle? I'm good. How are you? I am feeling so good. And Yay. she is definitely dressed the part of the whole uh -huh. spa because you... This whole concept is so beautiful and it feels so good. And correct me if I'm wrong, it's all about feeling good from the inside and exuding that outwardly. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's our goal. We really want our clients to feel comfortable and confident when they come in. And yeah. um, if we're doing just anything to help that healing journey, then we're doing our jobs. So. And I love that whole concept because you do so many different <laughs> things from I know all of this. Facials. I've done almost all of these things. True story. You <laughs> yes, know <this>. exactly. <laughs> From facials to eyebrows to eyelashes to, I mean, could you tell us all the things that you do here to make people feel good from the inside out? Sure. I mean, it's all across the board. We really focus on holistic skincare and facials um, and taking a more progressive approach versus just jumping right into something very aggressive or, right. you know, something that could harm the skin. Um, we do, so we do some amazing facials. We also do some more clinical facials like microneedling, but still with a holistic approach. Um, and then a lot of other beauty treatments, body waxing, organic spray tanning. Um, I specialize in eyebrow artistry and microblading. That's my jam. So <laughs> we're laughing about yeah. this because look how amazing her eyebrows are. And I, <laughs> <You're> I <too. laughs> am, thanks girl. Yeah. I am one that loves a good eyebrow tint as yeah. well as microblade. And so yeah. I know I'm definitely gonna come and yes. see you for that. And I love the whole approach of all of this is holistic. Can you kind of explain what that means to people? Sure, so we, um, we're we an Eminence Organic Certified Spa. Um, Eminence is, they're pretty well known in the skincare world. So they're fully organic. Um, everything is very like cold pressed. They use a lot of herbs and whole foods, fruits and vegetables in their um, products, but also they're very like science backed. So we're not only nourishing the skin, but making a real change in the skin with clean ingredients. So I that's love a big that pillar. Too. See, and I love that because I'm a, a huge believer, I should say, a firm yeah. believer. Yeah. And everything that you put on yourself, inside of yourself, that is who you are. It makes up your chemical makeup. Yes, And so absolutely. this is a big deal. And I have to say, in this particular location, it's so beautiful and it's full of light and it just feels airy and good. Yes. And everything here feels like you're healing yourself, which is... It sounds like your whole concept. Yeah, that's our whole concept. I mean, we want people to come in and just feel that sense of like relaxation um, and inner peace. I and love that. Just, I want it to be like a respite from the everyday. So. The hustle. <laughs> the hustle, yeah. And how did you pick the name Shine? Oh, the name Shine. So, you know, we, um, we started as a waxing studio right. when we first opened about six years ago now. And then with this move over here to this beautiful, bright, like airy space, I really just wanted something a little more meaningful and kind of all encompassing as far as everything that we offer. So it took me a while to, to nail down the name and I kind of was just playing around with like, how do I want people to feel when yes. they come in and what are we doing for people in our services and I kind of just, you know, it took a while, but Shine Intuitive Beauty, we really, we want people to shine from the inside out and feel amazing um, inside, I mean, which is so important versus just our outer appearance, right? So we want people to shine and then Intuitive Beauty, everyone is so different. Every mm -hmm. skin is so different. Every that. person is so different. So it's definitely... Um, a different treatment for every person based on the day, based on the human. So. And that's what I love the most about this space and about you guys, a brilliant kind of concept of everyone is so different and someone mm -hmm. might come in for the same thing as a friend and maybe come together and it's going to yeah. be a totally different experience. You're yes. going to look at each individual and make it 
uh, kind of make it more towards them, the human being, who they are, what they're yes. feeling that day, Absolutely. which is so cool. Yeah. That is so neat. Every, everyone's skin is so different, and um, even just based on the day, like yeah. how we're feeling, like what we're doing. <laughs> so we definitely use our, our knowledge and our intuition to like curate the treatment. So. And I have to say I love this too because I, again, have been a long time fan of you guys Aww. and customer, and yes. it's such a safe space. I know I've come in here happy days, really sad, hard Aww. days, like a little bit off, and you yeah. do feel lighter and brighter when you leave. So thank you for creating Shine. It's so beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> of yes, course. that's another like pillar of ours. We we invite everyone in, like every, you know, man, woman, like yes. every age, yeah. um, every color, gender, like we don't, we want everyone All to come accepting. in and feel comfortable and feel like they can like be themselves here. So I love that. Yeah. I, you are definitely the pillar of glitz and glam, which uh -huh. is like <laughs> yeah, glitz and you. glam from the inside out. Yeah. And it's true. I, you know, as much as people sometimes don't like to say this, when you feel good on the outside, it does help the inside. So it's kind of a win-win situation. Absolutely. Yeah. When we feel good and this is, I mean, it goes kind of just with our core values when we yeah. feel good. And when we as our estheticians know that we're helping people feel good and like they can go out in their day and make a positive yeah. impact on everyone else. Like that's just our main kind of goal. Pay it forward. Yeah, concept. Exactly. I love that. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much, Michelle. Thank You're amazing. You. Thank you, Gretchen. I'm here with Jessica, who is a student intern here at Shine Intuitive Beauty. How are you doing, Jessica? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I am so good. I love your energy. I love thank that you're you. so excited to talk. What are we talking about today? All things products, maybe? Uh, all things products. I mean, um, one thing when I came into Shine Intuitive Beauty, I think I was really trying to find my navigate my way of where I wanted to be in the aesthetics world. Yeah. I've worked in a dermatologist office. I've worked at resorts and I really just wanted to find this like happy medium of like somewhere more holistic but still getting results with driven skincare. So um, Eminence was definitely up my alley. I love that. Did you hear about Eminence before you came in here or did you learn about it here? Yes, actually um, when I had my first son I was dealing with this like pregnancy acne that I've never yeah. had before. And my sister was working at a spa in Vail and they had Eminence and cool. the Stonecrop products were amazing. <laughs> they were like life changing. <laughs> I love that. And so how did you come about to be here at Shine? Um, you know, I, so I was finishing up my hours for school and COVID happened. So it kind yeah. of prolonged this process and I was kind of just at home not working and I, interviewed for here for nice. the front desk and they seen on my resume that I was a student and I love it you know what? I walked in that morning and I was like, <laughs> I'm going to go introduce myself because my mom always taught me um, if you want a job, you got to go show them who yeah. you are. And so I came in here that morning and the energy exactly is just, it's warming, it's inviting and you want to be here. And I love that you said that yeah. because you, all of you that work here have this same beautiful energy of just, you feel Thanks. so safe and happy and you're excited to be here. Exactly. Thank you. I know um, that's definitely something that I wanted in skincare too. I was scared to go into aesthetics at first yeah. because I thought it was more of the glitz, glitz yeah. and glam <laughs> and I'm like I'm not that girl and then I found like this whole science side of it and just the making people happy and yeah. comfortable about themselves. I love that you said that because glitz and glam with Gretchen you know the segment yes. it was, people hear that sometimes and they think it's going to be this overtly over the top but I am all about the same what you're saying is just exactly. feeling beautiful from the inside and showing that on the outside and shining exactly. your true beauty exactly nature. that's so neat exactly and i know um eminence has definitely helped me a lot with that and changing my skincare yeah. and um i've had medical products before medical grade and i mean these work just as fine with clean ingredients right. and you're getting results what's your favorite eminence project or product product <laughs> they just came out with the tropical superfood Oh, or superfood nice. collection and this pineapple refining tonic is I saw that amazing, amazing. and pineapple it, that's it very smells random I like, like that. you need a cocktail <laughs> and you need to be on the beach but I love that. it's it's amazing it has smaller enzymes so it's not gonna irritate the skin but you're still nice. gonna get driven um 
acids to really kind of eat away at the dead skin cells. So. I love and it smells like pineapple. Oh it doesn't get much better than that with a sunshine pineapple. I like it. I know. I love it. <laughs> I love that. Well, thank you so much. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs>um, energy in this. So yes. really I love to do all the facials. Um, we do that. I do a ton of waxing. Um, nice. that is one thing <laughs> with summer coming, we'll yeah. get everybody, um, ready with bathing suit bodies. Yes. Um, we do the self tanning or the spray tanning here. I love that. So, um, it is actually beet tan and one of yeah. my friends formulated it in Savannah. It's made out of beets. Wow. So the beets um, with the sugar and the formula mixed with your pH to give you your own color. So whatever you tan as out uh, in the sun, your skin will come out like that. I'm coming in next week to do this. And it's all vegan, which is awesome too, and That's organic. Amazing. So it mixes well with the energy we have going with all the products. So is the beet spray tan, I'm so interested in this, is this you guys just have this product your friend actually so she formulated this in savannah okay um, she has it's all over the country now wow. so she has different locations That's we amazing. actually sell products as well we have the self tanner and boosters to keep yourself your spray tan going after you get sprayed well and i think it's so interesting with this because people don't always realize they think oh it's like a spray tan but you're actually being safe and not getting even when you're in the sun doesn't it have some kind of SPF to help you not burn as much? And it doesn't have an SPF, okay. but it being us being estheticians in the spa, we right. don't want people to go out in the sun, sun as you much, get, right. get any sun damage right. and any of the hyperpigmentations. Right. So doing the spray tan is a great way not to keep to your to. skin protected cool. and not have any of the skin damage. I love that. And facials, you said that's something I'm super Correct. into. And my skin personally is so dry here. I know so many people are living in Colorado with the weather, the climate. Do you do like a deep moisturizing kind of facial or, uh, you know? Um, we do. I mean, okay. that's really what we touch on a lot with okay. is hydration being in the mountains. Awesome. So we do have, we have a few um, facials with like gua sha, which does a lot of massage okay. um, to get the blood flowing, yeah. to create more oxygen into the skin. Cool. But that's basically, um, we do really promote. We try to promote hydration in our facials. I love that. Um, we do do microneedling as well. Okay. Which is a little bit more than the holistic side of facials. Um, it's more of the medicinal um, medical end. Oh, okay. So it's going to help with the texture of your skin. It's going to get that collagen and elastin pumping. Awesome. It's going to make that start go growing again. Um, cool. So yeah, no, that's, we do a wide variety. My favorite, though, is the microneedling. This sounds like a one-stop shop. You can come in here and get all prepared to have beautiful skin for the summer. <laughs> yeah, no, we do everything. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. And how long have you been an esthetician for? 18 years. Wow. Since so then. you know your stuff. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been on for quite a while. That is so, yeah. so awesome. And what is your favorite thing about working in this space at Shine Intuitive Beauty? Uh, working in this space, it's just bright. The energy is amazing. Yeah. Um, working with Matt, Michelle, and Jessica has been wonderful. Yes. Um, I couldn't have asked for better people that I've met coming on before COVID. So it's been great. And that's yeah. wild. Yeah. What a journey to get here. COVID and then you guys are killing it. You're doing amazing. That's yeah, awesome. this space is amazing. It's great to see people outside walking yes. by and everything. So. I love that. Well, thank yes. you for making everyone beautiful from the, I guess, outside in and inside yeah. out. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> One person at a time. So. Keep thank it right you. here for more of the Glitz and Glam with Gretchen. It's the fastest half hour in television. Toyota's Race Week takes you inside the high-speed world of NASCAR. Go behind the scenes for a look into the high adrenaline world of motorsports and hear from your favorite drivers as they discuss the drive to a championship. If you love NASCAR, you won't want to miss Toyota's Race Week.
Kimberly with TV8 here and today's word of the day for our Easter and springtime giveaway is hippity. You get to unscramble and collect all of the words to be a potential winner of this egg that is filled with some incredible and exciting treats. Again, today's word is hippity. Join us on board the Leadville Railroad Winter Express. Stay cozy in our heated lounge cars. Marvel at the stunning winter landscape. Sip delicious hot chocolate. Don't forget to check out our new specials. Book today at LeadvilleRailroad.com. When you're in Vail, you're in vacation mode and you need a flexible home tour experience that fits into your schedule. We've transformed how you view and buy homes in the Vail Valley. With immersive, cutting-edge technology, you can explore properties 10 times faster. In our lounge, we guide you through this digital world on a 16-foot screen where you can imagine your next home in comparison to your favorite recreational spots. Say goodbye to multi-day home tours and hello to a quick stop between your other plans. That's the power of the immersion theater. I'm Amy Goodman, host of Democracy Now! Our independent news hour offers diverse perspectives and unique opinions often unheard in the mainstream media, live as the news unfolds. Tune in for Democracy Now!, The War and Peace Report, weekday mornings at 9 and evenings at 6 on TV8 Vale, Comcast Xfinity Channel 92. There's more for you on Channel 92. Welcome to the Vibe Report with Avija. This is where I tell you all about the exciting happenings around town. As always, the village is alive with music and some great snow means some great opera ski. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, there's live music at the Red Lion, Sonnenalp, Hythe, Shakedown Bar, The Lodge at Vale, Gambit Bar, and Park Hyatt. Chasing Rabbits is having a glitter and ice party on Saturday, and on Sunday, they're featuring DJ Pablo Fierro. On Sunday, Ein Prosit in Avon is having a Soups and Spirits fundraiser to benefit the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. On Friday, March 22nd, the Valar Performing Arts Center will be having Body Traffic, a Los Angeles-based dance presentation. This weekend is the official Mountain Pride Queer Ski Weekend. There are activities all weekend long. Be sure to check out mountainpride.com for all the details. On Saturday, March 23rd, the Alpine Art Center is having cocktails and canvas. More details can be found at alpineartcenter.org. That's it for this weekend's Vibe Report, friends. Be sure to follow the Vail Vibes TV8 Instagram for more info. And as always, spread the good vibes. Good morning, Vail! Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Now, I love talking about the environment, and I'm so grateful to have the chance to talk to the co-founder of Earth Echo International. How are you doing? Yeah, good morning, Gretchen. It's so nice to meet you. And let me ask you, is it Philip or Philippe? Philippe. Philippe. So I'm so excited to hear more about this because I know this is a STEM competition for people, young adults, 13 to 16, that are trying to um, help the earth, help the world. Can you give us a little bit of background on this amazing competition? Sure thing. Well, Gretchen, you know, 15 years ago, I founded Earth Echo International. We've become one of the world's leading ocean education and youth leadership organizations. Cool. And um, uh, as part of that, it's really focused on how we give young people the tools and knowledge to take action in their communities to solve these problems. Because of course, you know, environmental crises are, are, are all over the world. Right. Young people have a really high degree of concern and anxiety around it. And so four years ago, uh, about five years ago, four and, a, four and a half or so years ago, we launched the Our Echo Challenge, which is a national STEM competition for students between cool. 13 and 16 years old to tap into that engagement and passion that young people have for the environment. We challenge them to come up with a, a program to solve a, an issue around the environment, particularly biodiversity in their community. And then the top three 
uh, finalists win grants of a thousand, twenty five hundred, and five thousand wow. dollars uh, to actually implement their projects in their community. And so we're, we're launching the twenty twenty four uh, competition now, and the deadline is April twenty sixth to uh, to submit. How cool! And I have to say to you, this is such a powerful thing for so many reasons. One, I know there's so much anxiety around the world and <laughs> helping heal the world. And not only are you giving people, um, these young adults, the chance to make a difference, but to really implement that in their own community. And I love that you said, and could you touch base a little bit more on this? Um, you know, it's within their own community. So it's something that they're actually physically dealing with day by day. Is that correct? Well, it is, and that's why we asked Harper Forking, who is actually the um, here to join us this morning, because she's the the finalist and the winner of the 2020, our inaugural year awesome. for the Arco Challenge, and um, it's she's a great example yeah. of of what you're talking about and the power that young people have, and and how important it is to engage in communities to solve problems and help combat you know that anxiety and that feeling of powerless that a lot of young people suffer from. Okay, we're going to put you in the hot seat. I'm excited. What did you do? I'm so stoked to hear all the things. This is, you have to feel really proud of yourself. This is a big moment for you. I want to hear what, yeah, what exactly did you do? Thank you. Um, of course. I led Super Plants in the very first 2020 Araco Challenge. We were among the winners and received a $5,000 grant to implement our project. Over the past four years, we've grown into Project Super Plants an entirely wow. youth-led organization that educates, mobilizes, and inspires students to reduce CO2 emissions. We run interactive climate modules in schools around the San Francisco Bay Area. We started as a team of three, and now we're a team of 30 high schoolers who've reached over 2,000 students and grown 22,000 super plants. Harper, oh my goodness. Okay, how old are you, Harper? I am 16. Oh my gosh, I have to, I am so impressed by you. What an amazing thing. At 16, I was reading books and watching movies and you're helping save this world and creating change. You have to, how did you even, I'm so, sorry, I'm so impressed by you. How did you even get this idea? What, how did this come to be? Um, so I got this idea when I was in middle school. I've always loved science, experimenting okay. with reading banana biofuel or growing algae. And I was learning about photosynthesis in my science class. And I wondered whether we could supercharge plants intake of CO2 to protect our environment. And I learned about these plants that naturally have larger root systems that can store more CO2. And I was really excited by this and I wanted to share it with others, but I wasn't really sure how to get started. Okay. So the moment that I connected all of these ideas that I had with real action was when I stumbled upon the Araco Challenge. And from there, the project grew. That is so impressive. That is really, really cool. And Harper, how can you share this with other people? Do you have a website or is there um, somewhere that we can go to learn more about your what you're doing specifically? Because that's so interesting to me. Yeah, our website is projectsuperplants.org. We also have an Instagram at Project Superplants. Um, and we love for teachers to run educational modules yeah. and for students to continue spreading our project. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, I have to be honest with you. In sixth grade, I did hydroponics and look what you're doing. This is like, there's no comparison. Uh, listen, Gretchen, I I'm the same way. There was none of this when I was in school and that's right. just it, right? Young people are so passionate about these issues. A lot of them just don't know what to do. Right. Uh, the Araco Challenge, you know, as I said, the, the, the deadline is April 26th. It's a, it's a, we provide lots of tools and resources online um, for how to engage, how to submit a plan, how to submit a, a, a project. Uh, and it's really about tapping into this undercurrent of passion that young people have to to solve problems, to 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 not just uh, to take it. Yeah. Uh, and it's inspiring. Let me tell you, it's so amazing. <laughs> Harper is a, is a terrific example, and there are dozens and hundreds of young people, you know, projects like this, and actually thousands of young people we worked with around the country just in the last few years who are doing amazing work, and um, and it's it's really uh, fantastic. Philippe and Harper, you totally inspired me. Thank you so much. And thank you for being such a positive change for our environment. And I just, I really, I, you both should be so proud of yourselves, truly. Appreciate it, Gretchen. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank ha you. Of course. Have a great day, guys. And keep it right here. You we too. have more Good Morning Vale to come. Good Morning Vale.
Eyepieces of Veil has been a fixture in the Veil community for over 30 years. From designer frames and sunglasses to high-performance sports frames, prescription goggles and in-demand accessories like helmets, goggle lenses, and foldable reading glasses, our inventory raises the optical bar. Visit one of our seven locations today and see why generations of loyal customers return time after time for our unmatched service and inventory. Eyepieces, the art of vision. Did you know that all Eagle County residents and visitors can get a free Eagle Valley Library District card? All you need is a photo ID. You get our online databases and resources, free music, free streaming, all from wherever you have internet access. Free audiobooks and e-audiobooks straight to your phone. Go into your Eagle Valley Library District branch today and get your library card. You're watching K34QB, Vail, Colorado. Welcome to this second half of Good Morning Vail. I am very excited. We are going to talk to two amazing women about the Colorado Opera House circuit. Very exciting stuff. As well as have, as well as have a very well-known singer-songwriter you might recognize in studio today. So sit back, have that cup of coffee, because Good Morning Vail, this second hour, starts right now. Happy Friday. Can't believe it's Friday already. Let's take a look at that weather report out there at the TV8 Weather Center. 8 a.m., 31 degrees, a high of 51 degrees, mostly sunny. Winds west, 5 to 10 miles per hour. So beautiful spring day. I love these temperatures. 8 a.m., 31 degrees and partly cloudy. Noon, 43, sunny. 4 p.m., 45 with a little cloud coverage. And then 8 p.m., 36 degrees and partly cloudy. So gorgeous day to do some spring shredding skiing in there let's take a look at that i-70 corridor eagle 55 avon 53 vale 51 in denver a whopping 64 degrees i am here for that sunshine tonight a low of 24 snow 20 percent chance partly cloudy wind south to southeast 5 to 10 miles per hour. Let's take a look at that five-day forecast. Saturday, 51 and cloudy, a low of 24. And then we see that snow, a little precipitation sneaking in on Sunday. Snow showers, 41 degrees and a low of 20. Monday, overcast skies, a little bit of snow flurries, 36, a low of 15. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, continuing on with that snow, 37 degrees um, on Tuesday, a low of 19. And then Wednesday, 42 degrees with a low of 22 degrees. Sunshine, snow, well, you never know in these mountain towns. I say it all the time. Keep it right here. We have more Good Morning Vail to come. Good Morning Vail. Hi, it's Max with TV at Vail. We want to invite you all to the Wacky Winter Reading Program. It's open to all ages. All you have to do is read 10 books or a 1,000 pages. For more information, go on our website, tv8vail.com. And thank you to our sponsor, the Eagle Valley Library District. Think Big features top kid inventors who face off against each other to see who can come up with the most innovative and creative invention. And Think Big kids acquire and showcase their skills in creativity, science, marketing, design, and don't forget, teamwork. Check your local listings and watch the world's most innovative kids. They create and invent new toys, games, websites, and new modes of transportation. Tune in to Think Big. America was built on a love for the outdoors. We are a nation of sportsmen blessed with magnificent natural resources. With broad interests across water and field, we are united in our devotion to nature and conservation. Join us every week for the best shows celebrating the outdoor lifestyle. Outdoor America, 
live free. Did you know that all Eagle County residents and visitors can get a free Eagle Valley Library District card? All you need is a photo ID. You get our online databases and resources, free music, free streaming, all from wherever you have internet access. Free audiobooks and e-audiobooks straight to your phone. Go into your Eagle Valley Library District branch today and get your library card. Hi, I'm Gretchen Pleshaw, host of Good Morning Vale. Now we're doing something really cool for Easter. Starting Monday the 18th, every single day, you're gonna get a new word. So if you watch every day and unscramble the words to make a sentence, you can win what's in this egg. Make sure and tune in every day. Good Morning Vale. Dog Tales is America's premier dog lovers magazine show. This series is all about dogs and the people who love them. Featuring dogs of all sizes, shapes, and breeds, keeping you up to date with all the latest news from the dog world. Sit back and enjoy a fun program for the whole family. Check your local listings and tune in to Dog Tales. TV8, there's more for you on 92. Serving the local community 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Now, I love all things opera, and I love the op opera houses we have around Colorado. And we are going to talk to Lisa and Dominique from the Colorado um, Historic Opera House Circuit, all about opera houses. How are you doing? Good. It's so Great nice wonderful. to meet both of you. <laughs> I'm very, nice to you. Oh, thank you so much for having us. Of course. I am so excited because I was looking at the list of Aspen, uh, Central City, Leadville, Ure, as well as Telluride, and I have been to three of the five, so I felt very on brand for this interview, but I'm so excited to hear more about this. How did you guys get started in this whole Opera House event in the community? Just give me a little bit of background information. My name's Dominique and I'm with the Sheridan Opera House in Telluride, Colorado. Awesome. I'm actually their newest team members. And the Telluride, Colorado Opera House Circuit highlights some amazing venues in our state, some with some historic relevance, others that are new and modern, and we're so excited to be included. It's a great opportunity to highlight the beautiful arts that Colorado offers. And Dominique, how did you get involved with this? Had, have you lived in Telluride for a long time? I have been in love with Telluride. Okay, forever. love that. Love that. I moved here permanently in 2017, okay. but the Opera House legacy is over 111 years long. Wow. The Sheridan Arts Foundation, which is the steward of this wonderful building and these programs, has been around for over 30 years. And Ronnie and Steve Palomar, our valiant leaders, have done such a wonderful job bringing balanced programming and accessibility to Colorado, and we're so proud to participate in this circuit. Well, and I have to tell you, so Telluride is one of the um, opera houses I have not yet been to, so I'm very excited because I love Telluride. I'm obsessed. So I am very excited yeah, to come. Welcome. Yes, I definitely will. I'll take you up on that. <laughs> we have our final touring show of the season this Saturday okay. with Monoponics featuring Kendra Morris. Oh. And then next Saturday, we close out our season with a $1 community night with our local favorites, Joint Point. Oh, we would invite everyone who's in the Box Canyon to come on down, and we can't wait to welcome you to the Opera House either. Thank you so much. And now, um, Lisa, what Opera House are you with? So I'm with the Wheeler Opera House in Aspen, and we're just a um, little bit uh, north of our friends in Telluride. And, you know, the Opera House circuit... Um, mirrors the silver, it was called the silver circuit back in the late 1800s. There were artists who would hop on a train and then come to all of these historic opera houses, bringing culture, bringing excitement. And um, all of the opera houses that you have named, we were all built between about, uh, I think, um, 1878 to 1913. We're on his, the National Historic Register. Wow. There buildings, mostly renovated. Some are still doing a little bit of renovation, but we're all really active and just amazing parts of our community. 
Well, and Lisa, this is funny. I think you looked a little familiar to me. I've actually been to the Wheeler multiple times, and I think we might have met, actually. <laughs> I was like, that face looks familiar. I love Aspen, and I love the Wheeler Opera House. It's incredible. It's so beautiful. Thank you. Yep. And hopping inside, we, we've got a lot going on, just like at the Sheridan. Yes. Yes. Well, and that was one of my questions. You know, the, these opera houses are so well known throughout the country. I mean, obviously in Colorado, we all know, but throughout the country and the world, are people able to come and get tours to come or to go through? If you're not able to maybe make a show or, you know, the timing is a little bit off, can you physically walk through most opera houses? I'd say here in Aspen, we our Aspen Historical Society does tours almost every week. Okay. Uh, you can look um, on our website as well as the Aspen Historical Society website. Yeah, it's great. You do feel like you're stepping back in time. Not sure about down in Telluride, but I bet there are tours that are available there too. That is so awesome. And then do you guys all know each other because of this connection of opera houses and obviously the different shows and things that you see there? Do you guys all kind of know each other in the circuit? Yeah, we're, we're part of it. I'll, I'll let Dominique um, answer too, but we're, uh, we, uh, there are monthly meetings. We talk about some issues that um, might be relevant to marketing ourselves throughout the state, okay. but it's a great way to, to collaborate. That is so awesome. That is really, really cool. And for everyone to kind of get some um, insight to be able to know what shows are happening, what's going on, each one of you guys have a different re website, correct? But is there um, a website for all of the opera houses that are in these five locations? I don't believe there's a single website. I okay. think each of the houses you can reach out to individually, but I know that we are. they have a social media um, Instagram account cool. that all of us together. That way you can explore each of the amazing theaters and get a little taste. I love how all of the theaters are spread out. So you could really do just a road trip of Colorado yeah. and hit these wonderful historic markers. That's what yeah. I was thinking. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I would say in addition to all of our individual websites, there actually is one that, that's just been created. It's the ColoradoOperaHouses.com. Okay. And that, you know, hopefully that redirects you to whatever opera house you're getting ready to visit. But th that's got a lot of the history on that website. That is so awesome. Now, ladies, I'm going to ask you a loaded question. I know this is hard, but <laughs> what is your favorite thing about your each uh, your individual opera house? Like, what is the one thing that really makes you feel like yours sticks out? What is the unique vibe about it? Okay, me first. <laughs> um, you know, it really is if you are stepping back in history. So when you come to these to these small mountain towns, and we all have our own distinct character, many of them are ski towns, right. but all of them are just so rich with Colorado history. And when you walk through the doors of the Wheeler Opera House, you have to come two floors to get to the yeah. theater itself because we're up on the third floor. But you can really feel what it must have been like in the late and late 1800s for people just to, it might have been dirty outside, but there's a gorgeous, beautiful building. They get to come in, forget their cares, sort of yeah. relax and, and just be entertained and engage in culture, which was probably really surprising in yeah. in these tiny towns that are so remote and so far away from the from the city centers like Denver. Yeah, I love that you said that, Lisa, because as you were speaking, I was thinking of uh, Little Women, the book and the various movies and the opera house scene. I feel like that's very, you know, that moment of having that moment stepping in and kind of getting that piece of history. I love that. And I just want to piggyback on what Lisa stated. I think it is that kind of time travel element when yeah. you walk these historic opera houses, you're transported to a different time and a different space. And it really connects us to the heritage of our Box Canyon. But my absolute favorite thing about the opera house has to be all of the artists and all of the community members that get to come and be a part of this incredible the arts, shows, live music, children's theater, and it's a wonderful way to join the community get together along with inviting our guests and travelers. Because like Lisa said, we're a ski town yeah. and the majority of our patrons are actually visitors. So it feels very special to be able to welcome them, give them a historic taste of Telluride and invite them to be part of our endowment. I love that. Now, 
Both of you, I can tell, are very excited and enthusiastic about um, the Opera Houses. How did you get involved with this? Or did it just kind of happen, or have you always had this kind of affinity for Opera uh, Houses? The Opera House has always been calling my name. Yeah. I love live theater, uh, live shows, live music, and again, just gathering people in a community to experience different cultures, music, and art. And even though I've worked many different jobs in Telluride, I've always had my eye on the Sheridan Arts Foundation. Cool. And a few months ago, a marketing director position came available. I threw <laughs> And I am so delighted that I was asked to join the team. I've only been here for a few short months, but it's already been an incredible pleasure to interact and meet so many members of the community and visitors. I love that. You can feel the passion and that's what it's all about, right? Doing something you love and working with people that really light you up and make you, you're excited about what you do and you can feel that. That's really great. And working for a nonprofit, our focus isn't always the bottom line. Of course, we have to run in a sustainable way, but the focus is always in the enrichment of our community and our visitors and inviting artists to come and share their skills and talents. And it just, it feels like a great privilege to be a part of something that's um, not just about the bottom line, but about legacy yeah. community investment. Oh, I love that. Well, Lisa and Dominique, you guys are amazing. I could talk to you all day. Thank you so much for enriching us and like telling enriching our lives and telling us all about the opera houses. Where should everyone go to check it out? I know we talked a little bit social media, et cetera. Is there a main website that we should look at? Yep. So you can go to coloradooperahouses.com and that gives you information about the entire circuit. And then each of us um, has our own individual website that gives a really rich list of all of the things you can do and see in cool. each of our beautiful jewels. That is so great. Thank you guys so much for joining us this morning. I appreciate you and I hope to see you in Aspen and you in Telluride as well. I'll come visit both of you. <laughs> Sounds great. Thank you so much, Gretchen. Thank you so much, Lisa. And we'll catch you later at the Sheridan Opera House. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. And keep it right here. We have more Good Morning Vale to come. Welcome aboard. Bobby Lori and Nikki Noya have your ticket to everything you need for an on-the-go lifestyle. Grab your boarding pass. It's time to jet set. Hi, I'm Ben Belgrad, and I'm the owner of Drinking Vessels here at Backcountry Studios in Minturn. And I've been in the Valley for seven years. Um, I moved to the valley because a friend helped me to get my vision off the ground, building my glass studio here, um, and being so close to snowboarding. So here at the studio, we're acting as a broker for 50 to 100 artists from around the country. We also offer glass blowing classes, and we bring many artists from around the country here to be able to work and create art collaboratively, and be so close to skiing and all the activities we have here in the valley. Here at Drinking Vessels, we specialize in handmade glass drinkware from artists around the country and around the world. Some of these are produced as more of an item you could get in sets and kind of get different color options as time goes on. And some of these are completely one of a kind uh, and really high-end art that's unlike anything people have seen before. While I'm an artist myself here at the studio, I'm representing between 50 and 100 other artists from around the country and most of these artists are able to spend most of their time working on their art while we help handle their marketing and their sales and the distribution and representation, allowing them more time to focus on their art. That's really my privilege in running this business is creating that support and providing that platform for this big group of artists that are part of a movement that's very important to me. Coming up this season on Ready, Set, Renovate, real homeowners tackle really big renos. Welcome to the ugliest house in the neighborhood. <laughs> it's a 
wild ride from before to after. If we go to the tile store one more time, only one of us is coming out alive. <laughs> well, I didn't know he was going to do all that. Between the budget and the timeline, it's makeover madness. Good morning, Vail. I am standing here in the middle of the goggle bar with Tyler Moore at Eyepieces of Vail, and it is an exciting, exciting month for you all because it's the 40th anniversary. It is. it is crazy to think, <laughs> um, but yeah, I pieces of ale has been happy to serve, uh, you know, all our great, wonderful guests, our wonderful community for the past 40 years. Um, so we have a really fun party actually coming up in less than a week. Uh, next Thursday, the 28th, uh, with one of our premier brands, uh, Chrome Hearts will be here for a trunk show, a little gathering. Um, Love to invite anybody, locals, guests. If you're going to be here, you really should like swing on by and come have some fun with us. Well, everybody loves a good party, <laughs> and especially with the Chrome Hearts. So we've got a lot of their options here in front of us. So talk to me about what is happening. For sure. Some really kind of exciting, fun uh, teamwork, I guess you could say, with Chrome Hearts is like these three pieces right here are Chrome Hearts' first ever eyewear collaboration with any other brand. These are limited to 40 pieces. Uh, we custom designed them, picked the colors, chose the lenses, all the finishing details. Um, only available at eyepieces. So if you're like a Chrome Hearts fan or just love unique, hard to find eyewear, come check out these frames because like they are fabulous colors, great shape. Um, and even if you don't, nothing that, like that fancies you, the whole entire Chrome Hearts collection, I mean, we have such an extensive collection. It's so fun to shop. Uh, we really could help you find something super fun and unique. That's true. So you only have 40 pieces of these across all eight locations. Correct. Yeah. Yes. And like once they're gone, they are gone. Uh, and they actually are moving pretty fast. They have a, had a lot of hype and a lot of interest. And I mean, like, why not? Like some of these are just like such cool, mm -hmm. like designs, colors. I love the lens on the periwinkle here. Uh, the Bordeaux right here is just a great clean color. Um, you know, I think we had a lot of fun working with Chrome Hearts on these. That's great. And then we've got some more Chrome Hearts here in the case as well. And I love these green because it matches my sweater. Yeah. <laughs> I should have put them on, but I don't think I would have been able to see. <laughs> right. A little, little sun, sunglasses inside in the morning. You know, that's uh, yeah, sometimes a little tough part position when you're on TV. But yeah, again, Thursday, the 28th from 3 to 6 at our Village Center location will be that uh, kind of party. So really, we'd be so happy to welcome you and have some fun with you if you want to come on by and celebrate with us. Absolutely. Well, I know I plan to be there, so it'll be exciting. So we are in transition. We are in the springtime mm -hmm. weather. So what would you suggest and what brands do you support for like winter or sorry, not winter, springtime and summer activities? What do we have in front of us? Of course. Yeah. You know, I mean, I don't know, like you're saying, <laughs> it's getting warmer outside. I'm starting to think like spring and summer activities. I'm thinking golf biking, hiking, um, you know, a little still bit of spring skiing left. You can ski with some sunglasses if you're a little more comfortable with that. Um, but I kind of have a small assortment here. Montclair, if you kind of want something a little like more fashionable, mm -hmm. sporty, but yet still functional. Um, they make some great kind of shield pieces, some great, what do I call it? Athla leisure, <laughs> you know, uh, you can have a little fun with it without going straight to like an Oakley vibe. Um, but that's a, a great one for you here. Another kind of unique one that I really like, this is especially good for like, you know, if you're driving, motorcycle, golf, um, these pieces are really exclusive too. This is a uh, salt collaboration with a brand called Radford. A little side shield detail on there makes them a little more sporty, keeps a little bit of wind and, yeah. you know, uh, sun out of your face. Great lightweight titanium, all polar. This would be kind of something I think like a little more dressy, sporty, I mm, guess you could yeah. say. Um, but yeah, I mean, we have options for like everybody. <laughs> There's too many brands to list for what we have for sport and fashion. Um, so it's one of those things where, uh, come on by the store because it's a really fun experience to kind of shop the, shop the store and see what unique brands that we curate from around the world. It's true. And I, I love coming into each individual eyepieces store because you can see the personality of each store and of each leadership, like Tyler here, and we've got <laughs> Garrett at the other location as well. And you can just kind of see the curated different pieces that you all have because not every single brand is in every single store. Correct. Yeah. Yes. So we do differentiate our stores quite a bit, actually. Mm -hmm. So every store, typically we have a couple of brands that are unique to that store. And then every store, like you're saying, kind of has their own vibe and style. You know, Garrett and Aaron over at Village Center run a great ship. Um, 
myself over here with uh, Bryce and Kaylee between here and our Sun and Alps store. Kind of has a little maybe more relaxed, sporty vibe. Um, you know, it really is worth going around and shopping all our different stores to kind of see what you like, see what brands you might find, because it really is going to be a unique experience uh, at each store. Well, it is. And, and speaking of experiences at each store, and the reason you've been a staple in the Valley, you've got an actual um, prescription for goggles, for mm -hmm. glasses, an eye doctor on site. So tell me all about that. Yes. Yeah. Great thing to bring up. Like for the last 40 years, we have been helping people with not only like sunglasses and the sports side of it, but like you're saying, their prescription side. We want to help you be able to see and see your best. So pretty much a lot of what you see in front of us can be done in prescription. Um, like you're saying, even the goggles um, and then the doctor services. Dr. G is literally awesome to work with. One of my favorite people, he comes in uh, every Tuesday, Thursday for eye exams and he starts in Edwards in the morning and then typically around 3 p.m. comes over to Vail. Um, so depending on your schedule, like really flexible time frames, mm -hmm. um, you know, those appointments uh, take about 30 to 45 minutes. So it's really quick, easy. You know, you're on vacation, you actually probably have a little bit of extra time on your hands uh, when you're not dealing with the hustle and bustle of life back home. Uh, so always feel free to give us a call and see if he's available. We're happy to get you set up and in a new set of prescription glasses, shades, readers, whatever you need. Honestly, and there's so many incredible options here. So you absolutely should do that if you need it to get a prescription. But it's great because you've done it for goggles. And now that we're moving into the springtime sports, it's easy to get it done for your sunglasses or whatever it is that you want. Correct. I, it's really awesome too. I mean, certain brands, like we have biking specific uh, lenses and progressive, same with like golf, um, really any of your sports, we can help you see your best and, you know, by extension, perform your best. I love that. And the, the tagline is the art of vision. So it just shows that it's functional and fashionable and you guys are great with that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We, we love finding these unique pieces, truly making it an experience um, and like finding something that's like very you, like personally to you. So, um, you know, that's part of one of the best parts about my job, I think. Well, I've got my eye on a few that are sitting here in front of us as you're talking. I'm side, side eyeing it, looking into the cases. So tell us about the logistics, operating hours, where are the locations, all of that fun stuff. Correct. A lot of our locations right now are open at 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Um, and then we have eight convenient locations throughout the company, six here in Vail Valley and two over in Roaring Fork. So we're here at the Gaga Bar, literally the closest location to Gondola One in Vail Village. Then we have Village Center across from the ice skating rink. That's where Dr. G will be in the afternoons on Tuesday, Thursday. Just a little farther down the street at the Sonen Out building is Eyepiece's Sport. So a little more of like a sport boutique feel. Uh, if you find yourself in Lion's Head, great little boutique over there. Beaver Creek, uh, probably our prettiest store. I am very jealous of it. It's the newest build out um, right on the corner there. It is gorgeous. If you haven't been you should go. And then um, even a little farther down Valley Edwards Corner next to Hovian Harrison, uh, that's where Dr. G will be in the mornings on Tuesday, Thursdays. Uh, and then uh, Basalt next to Whole Foods uh, in Willits Center. And then if you find yourself skiing Snowmass, we can help you out at the base of Snowmass as well. So many incredible locations and so many unique opportunities in all of them. So definitely go check it out and tell us one more time, where is the party? When is the party? And congratulations. Thank you. Yes. So our 40th anniversary party with Chrome Hearts will be over at Village Center um, from 3 to 6 p.m. on Thursday, the 28th. So a little less than a week from today. Um, you know, we're going to have a little party vibes, some cocktails, you know, feel free to come and just say hi. Um, it's going to be a really fun experience, and we're really happy to share this with everybody in the community. Well, Tyler Moore, ladies and gentlemen, eyepieces of veil, exciting stuff, 40th anniversary, head over to the party next Thursday, 3 to 6, but in the meantime, come on in and say hello. We'll be right back with more after this. Learn the latest in science each week and how it relates to everyday life. From space exploration, to plant biology, to the latest in high-tech advances. Every new scientific development is explored and explained in an understandable way. Amazing stories each week. Watch Science Now. TV8 te brinda la mejor programación en español todos los días. 
Sintoniza Conexión Latina los lunes, miércoles y viernes a las 7 de la tarde con repeticiones los fines de semana. Además, te presentamos nuestro nuevo programa Sabores y Creaciones, donde hemos juntado tus recetas y manualidades favoritas en un solo lugar los martes y jueves a las 7 de la tarde. Y por último, disfruta de Daily Flash Latino, con noticias y entretenimiento en tendencia los sábados a las 7 de la tarde. Te esperamos por el canal 92 de Comcast, nuestra página de Facebook TV8 Conexión Latina, nuestro canal de YouTube TV8 Bell Good Morning Bell o nuestra página web tv8bell.com. Raisa Pascal. And I'm Andrea Jackson. Welcome to Life Love Shopping. Do you have any personal stories you can share? Do I? <laughs> yes, I so, do. So even though you work for Some good deals, too good to miss on Flash Deals. Now check this out. Studies show spending time outdoors can help with depression, lowering blood pressure, and overall health and happiness. When you're in Vail, you're in vacation mode, and you need a flexible home tour experience that fits into your schedule. We've transformed how you view and buy homes in the Vail Valley. With immersive, cutting-edge technology, you can explore properties 10 times faster. In our lounge, we guide you through this digital world on a 16-foot screen where you can imagine your next home in comparison to your favorite recreational spots. Say goodbye to multi-day home tours and hello to a quick stop between your other plans. That's the power of the immersion theater. Welcome back to Good Morning Veil. Vale. I'm so excited. We have music extraordinaire, musician, as well as writer, singer, songwriter, Joe Henley. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm so happy. I have a big smile. Joe has been around the valley for how many years now? I'd say originally I moved here in 98, and then I was here for five years, okay. and then I left for nine years. And I got back in 2012. I love it. Yeah, so I've been so back I since. I feel like everyone knows you. You're an amazing human. You are an awesome singer, and I'm going to make you blush a little bit because before you play an original song, sure. and you're one of your first original songs, yep. right? Yep. That's so cool. Um, I met Joe years ago, but you, I, I got to tell you, I asked him to play a song just off the cuff. Had you had never sang it before? No, no. And he literally remembered in his mind. Had did you have the words in front of you? I can't remember. A little bit, maybe. Um, I might have had them on the iPad. I can't remember. Okay, but but you, it wasn't a song that I, no, I played. You slayed it. And I was so impressed. And I think I talked about it for the next like year and a half. So thank, thank you, Joe. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate it. So, Joe, tell us about this song real quick before we get to hear you. Yeah, I was going through some old notebooks. And I came across lyrics from old stuff, both old set lists and, and, and song lyrics and things like that. Right. This song I wrote... When I first moved to the Valley, I was playing in a band called Tongue and Groove. Okay. We played a lot around the Valley. Right. And this was one of the first songs that I wrote that had full lyrics. Like, I had written songs, I had written instrumental stuff, I had written parts of songs. This was one of the first complete ones that I felt like, hey, I'll bring this to the band. I'm so stoked. And it even has coffee stains on it. It yes. is legit old school. Oh, I'm yeah, that's, excited that's, about that. that's old school right there. <laughs> And what yeah, is the name cool. of this song? Though? It's called Rosa's Place. Cool. Yeah. Right on. Do you want me to hit yeah, it? Let's do it. Okay. Remember when not long. Oh, go Go at times So far away it seems In that time It was just you and me 
in a place down by the sea. From time to time, something brings me back to the place we used to share. It was small, but everything was there. We were young, without a care, at Rose's place. As it seems, our time has gone. You went your way, and I went mine. Then sometimes I wish we were there and had the things we used to share. At Rose's place At Rose's place Rose's place For you and me There ain't no room For no one else at Rose's place At Rose's place Perhaps someday Our paths will cross Remember things We left behind Said I'll be if that day never comes. I'll always have my memories of Rose's place. Of Rose's place. Rose's place. Um, Rose's place. That was amazing. Thank you, Joe. Your voice. And he, I have thank to say, this man was saying he's not feeling the best. He hasn't been feeling the best, and you slayed. You. Well, thank you very much. You I are brilliant, it. Joe. I, okay, a little bit of deep dive, real quick, because. Singer songwriter, obviously you wrote that song. That was beautiful. You have Thank such you. a unique, unique and beautiful voice. Thank you. What got you very welcome? What got you into um, all things music? Was there a moment? A yeah. What was this? Or was it just in you? Well, I started as a kid playing drums. Okay, when right I was on. About twelve, but uh, you know, I come from a big family. I have seven siblings. What? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and you know, my dad would you know commute to the city every day work 12 hours a day, he'd come yeah. home. He didn't want to hear me banging on the drums. Right. So drum kits were not <laughs> on the top of the priority list. Totally. And so even though I was obsessed with drums as a kid, it just, it burnt out after I couldn't right. continue with it. It just kind of fizzled out and then started getting into playing guitar when I was probably around 17. A little bit more mellow, the guitar. Not yeah, so I just, I would always pick up guitars and be able to figure stuff out. I had a good ear. Cool. And then I just started, you know, like you do, you just kind of go down that road and you start learning more things and you start playing. I didn't really start writing lyrics and things till much later. Okay. Um, and and uh, I'm shy about original songs. You know, I have some, some that are unfinished right now. So hopefully next time I come on, I'll yeah. play one of my new songs. Absolutely. But yeah, and that's how it all started. And then I I started playing gigs with people and one thing led to another, you know, and then you just 
you keep on evolving. You, yeah, you evolve, you play with better and better people, and then you start getting gigs, and, and that's it, and that's how it started. Joe, was uh, like a little bit nerve-wracking when you went out on your own and did your own singing and songwriting, and I mean, was that a whole, because I can only imagine having a band behind you, it's like a vibe, right? Like you oh, yeah. feel comforted. Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah. The, you know, I played in the band Renegade Sons right. for, for years in the Valley, we were, we were pretty busy. You know, we played Pink Vale, we played Bonfire Block Party. Yeah. It's fun, you know, right. playing in a band, it's fun, it is a vibe, it's, yeah. it's a different vibe. I don't know. It's it's kind of different. Um, doing the solo thing, it's obviously a lot easier to do because you don't have to worry about scheduling with a bunch right. of people and things like that. It's just on you. <laughs> I miss jamming with the band, though, for sure. Yeah. 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 But you, so there's good and bad to both. You Absolutely. Like right yeah. On. Yeah. So, Joe, I know that you play. You're omnipresent. We like to say you play all over the valley. Um, do you have some gigs coming up that people can come and watch you? Yes. I'm, uh, one of my regular gigs, I've yeah. been doing Sundays at Ein Prose in awesome. Avon. Cool. And uh, I normally do three to six, but there's an event there this Sunday. So I'll be doing this Sunday, 6 to 9 p.m. at okay. Prose in Avon and the following Sunday back to three to six p.m. Cool. Shout out to the Prosa crew. Awesome place. Um, I played, you know, a bunch of different places in the valley in the summer yeah. where we, we met at E-Town. Yes, yep. I do, you know, Fridays on the patio. Uh, and that's a beautiful moment. I love the sun. And just oh, yeah. The, yeah. It's a fun gig. I, uh, that's an, another place. Cool. Grand Ave Grill I, I play love pretty it. regularly. Uh, I've played at the Second Street in Eagle. Cool, yeah. And, uh, you know, I... Eagle Arts, shout out Tara. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I've done a bunch of events for those guys. And you know, Moe's Barbecue. I was just about to say, yeah, yeah you Moe's Barbecue is another place. <laughs> and then a lot of times other gigs pop up right. here and there as well. So, that is so yeah. awesome. Well, Joe, when people want to check you out more, check you out, where should they go? Uh, you can check out my schedule and, and some other content at johanleymusic.com. JoeHanleyMusic.com. That's easy, simple yep. enough. Joe, thank you so much for coming. Thank you on. for We're having We're definitely going to have to have you back. <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate it. And Thanks, it, everybody. Yeah, you're so very welcome. Keep it right here. We have more Good Morning Vale to come. Good Morning Vale. For fun and adventure, join me on Elizabeth Stanton's Great Big World. Find out where I'll be going next and which celebrities I'll be bringing along with me. I'll show you amazing destinations with lots to explore, and you'll get to know my celebrity guests the way they really are, up close and personal. We'll travel the world, experience new cultures, and together, try to make a difference. I'm Elizabeth Stanton, saying the world's a big place, and I'm going to show it to you. Eyepieces of Veil has been a fixture in the Veil community for over 30 years. From designer frames and sunglasses to high-performance sports frames, prescription goggles and in-demand accessories like helmets, goggle lenses, and foldable reading glasses, our inventory raises the optical bar. Visit one of our seven locations today and see why generations of loyal customers return time after time for our unmatched service and inventory. Eyepieces, the art of vision.
Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. I say this all the time, but it is true. It's an awesome day when Tegan is here Thank with me. Eagle Valley Library District, a Friday at Tegan. Yes. Oh my, I love this. And the library, how are you doing, Tegan? Good. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. So we're going to dive right in yeah, because let's go, let's go. <laughs> every time poor Tegan comes on Good no. Morning Vale now, I ask her a million and three questions because you have I love it. educated me I love so it. much. Thank you. Um, Tegan, this is wild to me because yes. obviously I just checked out my very first book, mm -hmm. which I'm obsessed with and I'm going to buy now. <clears throat> yep. We'll talk more about that in a little. Um, I asked how many books because I have three now yes. on my docket on my yep. list that yep. I want to read. I cannot believe this. You have to do, how many books can you check out at a time? Um, you can check out up to 50 items. Five zero. Five zero. That is Five zero. incredible. Yeah. But you made a good point. If you're a mom. <clears throat> if you're a mom and you teacher. have <clears throat> a teacher, yes. And yeah. we also have teacher cards. So if you're a mom and all three of your kids want 10 bucks, well, right. please, there's 30. Um, <laughs> and then you're like, well, I want some books for myself. Um, right. So yes, we do have people reach 50. Um, I was going to ask you, okay, so since you've been there, have you had people? Oh, yeah. 50? Oh, yeah. 50 yeah. books. Yeah. That is impressive. Um, yeah, and, and then you know you get the you get the rotation for the weeks, especially with children's books because right. they're super fast. Right, right, right. Um, and it, you know everyone's busy and they're just trying to make their schedule. And so, so cool. People, you know, put us in their schedule um, when you're, they can. <laughs> I'm smiling because I'm like you're making me feel better about myself. I'm like this poor woman. I'm gonna go in every time and be like, I want three. You're like, girl, we've had fifty. That's <laughs> yeah, fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Tegan, what is happening with all things Eagle Valley <clears throat> Library District? Well, we got a lot coming up. Yeah. So next week on Monday we have um, Peaks to Petals so it's a gardening class. That's next Monday? Next Monday at Avon. Okay so yep. this is real because I do want to sign up for yep. it. How do I do that? Um, <laughs> you just pop on over to Avon. Well you can give us a call we can put your name on the list okay. or if you stop on by we'll put your name on the list. Okay so you can um, call or pop. Yep. Pop or call. Pop, pop or call <laughs> and um, we do uh, on some of our adult programs we do yep. have a limit Okay. Um, and we also want to know that you're coming so that we have the materials that you need. Perfect. Okay. Because this one's all going to be about gardening. So exciting. So yes so you're okay, going to cool. um, and this is particular to petals so flowers so it's going to be cool. not vegetables but it, um, all the flowers that you really potentially cool. grow. And this is Monday coming this up is this Monday. Monday. And on the 25th. Okay, and what yep. time? <clears throat> um, I think it's at 6, 6.30 That's or 6, but yeah. Awesome. We, our adult programs usually start a little bit later. Later. And yep. the adult programs, are they in that first room when you walk yep. in from the side yep. door? Okay. Um, it's called the Beaver Creek Community Room. Okay. Um, so when you, wa right walk, when you walk right in, it's yeah. going to be off to your right. It's beautiful. Yep. Okay, yeah. so that's so neat. That's yep. Monday evening. That's Monday evening. Okay, what else? Um, <laughs> well, we're partnering with the town for Extravaganza in Gypsum on Wednesday. Okay. So from 5 to 7, it's going to be busy. Okay. Um, um, so come on in. We have crafts. We're doing the bonnet and hat contest. Oh, so you can fun. bring it in and um, there's so judging cool. and everything. Okay. Um, so it's a good time. It's um, how the town of Gypsum celebrates um, that holiday. And we're, that's and we really have, cool. Yeah. And that's Wednesday. So <clears throat> Monday, that's Wednesday, yeah. Monday <clears throat> Avon, Wednesday Gypsum. <laughs> yeah. And then also Wednesday and Eagle is yeah. our watercolor basics. So yes. this one is okay. quite popular. So yeah. I think there's been a few openings, but okay. if you're interested, um, holler because you want to get your name on that. And list. that's an adult <clears throat> class. That is again. adult class. How yep. is this? Oh my god. And gosh. that one starts up. Um, the, yeah, that one starts at five, and then gypsum okay. on the twenty eighth. Okay. Also watercolor basics. So if you missed eagle, there's you a second chance. In gypsum. In gypsum, oh, um, cool. and you just you learn how to watercolor, and watercolor is just so so soothing. <laughs> I live with anxiety, and that is one thing. The coloring yes. and or painting yep. is really helps just kind of calm your nerves yeah, yeah. And, well, and you just get into it and you, you watch do. the water move the color and yes. yeah it's, and you just it's relaxing yep. your carries and worries <laughs> yep. and, or your just worries like, get I'm carried focus away focus on blue <laughs> yeah I love you you're like and blue <laughs> yep. and yellow yeah this is nice <laughs> yeah. um taking for these adult classes yes. um do you pay for like do we need to pay for no, some of them no, no. all no. our classes are free wow. so um all the programming that we do at the library district is free the only thing so that we cool. do have a ticketed price for and okay. that is actually upcoming is our books and bloom but we'll dive into that next okay week. so uh, <laughs> you're like don't get ahead of yourself well, yeah, we, we, got, we got books and bloom um and that's that is a ticketed event okay um, and mostly it kind of helps um us know what we need to um have ready because we do okay. have food at that event oh, um cool. and it kind of offsets that a little bit as well but that's so neat to know these adult classes because i was 
willing to pay yeah. like 50 bucks. You know yeah, what I mean? Free. That's come, amazing. Just come in. <laughs> and you said, um, I know Monday yep. and Avon, and it's uh, focused on flowers, but yes. they, you do have vegetables yeah, and well, that they, kind of stuff. Yeah, that was part okay. of the series. So we were partnering with CSU Extension. So, okay. they, so they know their stuff So because um, yeah. they have the master gardeners. Um, and so, so cool. they will come in and kind of help you. So we did vegetables, and now we're doing flowers. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, oh good, that's good, so cool. Yes. Okay, and what was the other thing we were talking Oh, I got an oh. email from you guys. Yes, yes. yes. You can, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you've been featuring musicians yes. here on Friday. And I was like, oh, that's a good plug for this yeah. um, database, which uh, the the name is I, odd. I but, love it. <laughs> say it. Say yep, it. Loud. It's Freegal. So free and legal. I love it. Um, Freegal. Smashed together. Uh, <laughs> and it's where you can download up to five songs a week and keep them. And it's so the cool. entire Sony collection. Yeah. So there's genres upon genres. There's over, I don't know, I think they said like seven million songs at this point. Um, it is expansive. It and, is. Yeah. I checked it out because you know um i work on tv and radio yep, yep. and i love music it's just my thing it's my jam it's my Yay. happy space place whatever um you have everything there. oh good i'm it's glad because like, i got this email and i'm like eagle what valley library district and i love well and i love that it's so inviting every email the pop oh, of good. color and i opened it and i was like well, this is very expansive i yeah. mean that's brilliant it's oh, really good. cool yeah You're good i'm, I'm glad you free. enjoy it. yeah Again. and for free so you can download five and you get to keep and then you can also stream it and i believe our streaming is up to three hours and it's ad free wow so you can See? yeah you can just jam i love that so eagle valley library district um, the website, it yes. kind of takes you, I checked it out the other day, it takes you through everything, yes. which really helps because I have a Tegan to ask all the time. <laughs> you might not have it, I know you do, you can call her. No, call, her. yeah, call, <laughs> call her at the library. Yeah, we're happy to um, help. But no, you guys are really, I do have oh, to say, you. you, you're so well versed and you know what you're talking about and you really are such thanks. kind, lovely human beings and it's so fun to come in. Oh so. good, I'm glad you enjoy it. And like, what, any question, really, come in um, and then cool. if you can't ask, we have the materials and um, Which I will love. always help you. Well, and we touched base last week a little yeah. bit on the um, bookmarks and I was looking at mine and yeah. it's really neat because the resources, I have to say, I didn't even know about all of them. Oh, which is Yes, and, and yeah. so that's part of our job as the librarian is to connect people to resources. And yes. oftentimes when you're in a community and we have a ton of resources, again, you might not know everything. Right. And so we really like to be that bridge um, to connect people to the information that they need to thrive so cool. as well as the resources within our community. And Tegan, the last thing I was going to say, I know the book that I've been reading yes. um, is a little bit, you know, it wasn't one that is, um, what do we call it, like a, uh, put in the libraries, a oh, or whatever. Yeah. Um, it is gaining in popularity. Oh, it so is, yes. It, yes. Okay. Um, so um, I'm not sure when it came out, if it was a bestseller or not. Right. But usually. Um, it's an older. Yeah, yeah, it's an older. But something cool that you were saying is that it's so neat because so often when you read the book and then it's kind of, how did you say yeah. it? Like you, before you buy it, you just you like test it out. You get a sample. Yeah. And so here's where libraries are a little bit different. Um, library uh, patrons are one of the most prolific book buyers. Oh, um, wow. And so, you know, publishers get a little bit worried about, you know, their um, life right. forecasting um, because libraries, we offer it for free, but you get to sample it. And oh. oftentimes when people love books, yes. they'll buy it and then they'll buy 10 copies for their friends. Totally. Uh, and that's what is happening here because I'm so grateful that I got to read it. And now I'm like, I, I want to own it. I want to yeah. have it to like go back, go back and like, yes. Yep. And then so that's brilliant. Now you can, um, and if it's so good, you know, someone who needs it, you can purchase it for them. Yeah. Um, so, and you get to explore different genres and you kind of get a hop, skip and jump yeah. um, with a library card. I do have to say, Tegan, it's funny because with my books at home that I've purchased, mm -hmm. I just like throw them. <laughs> I have three rescue dogs, you know. I put the, this book, the, Mount, the Mountain is You, on high above anywhere else where it can't get spilled out. I've been very good about keeping it clean, so. And, no, and accidents <laughs> do happen. Um, my puppy also, when, when, yeah, when they were a puppy, they, I was like, oh, I totally thought this was Safe space. Uh, say, yeah, and that they wouldn't, and he totally destroyed a book. So, um, you know, so if it does happen, okay. it's going to be okay. If it does happen, okay. it's okay. You just come tell us, and yes, awesome. you would have to pay for it, but we do try to right. work with you. Wow. Um, so accidents do happen. It's okay. <laughs> we love you, Tegan. Thank <laughs> no, you thank so you. much, and we'll see you next Friday, yes, hopefully. Sounds great. <laughs> and keep it right here. We have more Good Morning Vale to come. Kimberly with TV8 here and today's word of the day for our Easter and springtime giveaway is 
Tiffity. You get to unscramble and collect all of the words to be a potential winner of this egg that is filled with some incredible and exciting treats. Again, today's word is Tiffity. I'm Amy Goodman, host of Democracy Now! Our independent news hour offers diverse perspectives and unique opinions often unheard in the mainstream media, live as the news unfolds. Tune in for Democracy Now!, The War and Peace Report, weekday mornings at 9 and evenings at 6 on TV8 Vale, Comcast Xfinity, Channel 92. There's more for you on Channel 92. More than ever, kids need information to help them better understand their surroundings and to better protect themselves. Each week, this program works with the various law enforcement agencies across the country and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, spotlighting several missing cases, hoping someone, like you, might have information that will lead to finding these individuals. Join us in exploring the everyday lives of community members here in the Vale Valley. Hear their inspiring stories of how they came here, their contributions to our community, and why they chose to call this place home. We want you to be one of our neighbors. If you would like to be featured or nominate someone to be featured, please send an email to danielle at tv8vale.com. We look forward to featuring your story right here on TV8. Do you love the outdoor lifestyle? Make sure you tune in every day at 8 p.m. to catch Scoreboard Nation. It's an outdoor lifestyle show dedicated to your three favorite mountain towns, Vail Beaver Creek, Park City, and Reno Tahoe. Join us for an incredible venture. Find us on TV8 Vail, Park City Television, or at thescoredboardnation.com. We can't wait to see you there. Welcome back to the TV8 Weather Center. Happy Friday. Let's take a look at that weather outside today on this Friday. 8 a.m. 31 degrees and partly cloudy. Noon 43 and sunny. 4 p.m. 45. Mostly sunny. A little cloud coverage. 8 p.m. 36 and partly cloudy. Let's take a look at that I-70 corridor. Eagle 55. Avon 53. Vail 51 and Denver a whopping 64 degrees so spring is definitely in the air and I am here for it. Tonight a low of 24, snow 20% 20 chance, partly cloudy winds south to southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. What a great Friday we had. I hope you have a great weekend out there. Have some fun in that snow more than sunshine <laughs> and keep it right here. We'll see you again for more. Good morning Vail. Have a great weekend. Good morning. things to see and do summer winter spring or fall your home in the rockies has it all so get up get ready to start your day the coffee's brewing you're on your way the fun is waiting outside your door good morning Bill. are you looking for exciting and nutritious recipes to cook at home watch colorful cooking with